On today's show, we're cooking eggs in a little hash brown cup. So one of my favorite things is when people send me recipes. This came from Jacob in somewhere Flagstaff-ish Arizona, maybe outside Flagstaff. And it's eggs baked in hash brown cups. It's supposed to be really good. I think it's going to be. Uh, let's get the cup part ready. All right, so we're using these already made hash browns and we need like about half the bag. Uh, Jacob says 10 ounces. It looks like about half this because it's a 20, 20 ounce bag. I think that's right. And a third of a cup of shredded uh, cheese. I think he used Monterey Jack or something and I don't have that. I got Monterey Jack and Colby. And that looks about right. A little more can't hurt. A little salt and pepper. And before we get our hands dirty, I'm just going to spray these little muffin cup things right here. Now this just gets mixed. I don't know how this is going to work. So we should be able to put like this much in each. Oh, this is going to make uh, probably more than six. I don't know. I think it will be about right. Oh, look at that. Jacob, my man, thank you. Now, but now you do this. Because you have to make a place for the egg, right? To go. Just give yourself a spot for that egg to go. But if you use extra large eggs, you might have trouble, so. 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And then we fill them and bake them again. All right, so they're ready. And... Ow. Chase the thing. It uh, was not 15 minutes. It was closer to 25. So a little, they're obviously crispier on the edges. But so now the key is this, crack an egg in each one. I'm telling you, I don't know if these are not full-size muffin cups because I didn't use the other, the, like the bigger pan, but I think I'm going to have trouble getting all the stuff in. But I did want to do this. This was not in the recipe. Mm. But I like the idea of a couple drops of, of uh, Cholula at the bottom of these. I get a little surprise. I'd say we could put more cheese in there, but honestly, I just don't think there's room. Going right here. Don't break your yolks, whatever you do. So let's just give them a little salt and pepper. And now you turn the oven down to 350. Just <laughs> I got caught on the drawer. I feel like I should put that on a baking sheet, you know what I mean? Oh, here's one. Okay? Nice. Here we go. Uh, see you in about 10, 10, 15 minutes. I want the white set, but the yolk's still running. I think it should be possible. Fingers crossed. We're there. I mean, I think we're there. Are we there? Yeah. There's still a little jiggle. I can't tell if it's in the white or the... All right, now comes the real test. Oh, crap. How do you think you do this? Nice. There we go. So, a little. Pretty cool. Hash brownie. So, let's just see if you cut it. Wow. That's a, that's a nice little, oh, there's a little, the hot sauce. But it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
It is awesome. Look, you could totally make these little uh, hash brown cups the day before. No problem. And then just assemble. The hot sauce in the bottom, totally key. It's just like perfect couple of little bites. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next time.